everybody, Ralph Havens, autoimmuneanswers.com. And this morning, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of um, what happened to, to me in the past, but it, um, it showed up again yesterday, and it really pissed Jen off. I mean, Jen um, was about to make this video in her own way, but she was so upset, and, and um, she goes, you better not let me make this video. And, um, and I was like, no, don't make the video. I'll, I'll make the video. So, so what happened? You know, years ago, it was 2011, and we had just had um, our first son, Ben, and we were in San Diego. And I had a, a physical therapy practice and had a good life and good friends, and everything was going great. But, but um, a few months before Ben was born, I, had, um, I was unable to run, and I had severe bone pain, and I was starting to get really depressed and seen lots of um, practitioners. I even saw a doctor to make sure I didn't have cancer, and because and, um, practitioners, all sorts of my health people, um, the medical intuitive people I was seeing, the um, energy medicine people I was seeing, the other people I was seeing were telling me, you know, your kidneys are not doing well, your liver's not doing well, your GI tract's not doing well your bones aren't doing well, you better make sure you're not dying, you know, cancer. And so, um, so I went to a doctor and she says, no, it doesn't look like you're dying, but um, I don't know what's going on. She thought it might've been something, um, she was an osteopath, something um, related to my mom and thoughts and beliefs and stuff. And, and, um, and other people had all sorts of ideas and they wanted to put me on these different diets. And, and um, some people were just throwing their hands in the air and said, I don't know, man, you've got to go get checked out, but this isn't, what I can fix. And, and so it was like, you know, I was used to helping people heal from all sorts of chronic conditions. And here I was, I couldn't fix this thing. And it went on for a year and a half of severe bone pain, couldn't run, kept trying to run. And during this time, I was doing massive amounts of wisdom healing Qigong, massive amounts of Qigong, and massive amounts of mindset stuff to try to get the right frame of mind and change my beliefs and change my past and the way I thought about my past and all the, the abuse that had happened. And I was doing massive amounts of that. And I was doing massive amounts of matrix energetics. I was working really hard with the energy work and shifting things. And if you can just shift the energy pattern, you can shift things, stuff that had worked to help a lot of people for many years, <clears throat> but it wasn't helping me. I went to the, my medical intuitive um, practitioners and, and they were saying, well, there's a lot of crap in your pelvis and there's a lot they didn't use the word crap but there's a lot of stuff in your pelvis and you know you should work on this it looks neurological like something with the nerves and the brain maybe and the spinal cord and and um and they were um, trying to fix this thing and um but it wasn't working and and so i finally found it about a year and a half into this this ordeal this terrible part of my life very dark part of my life and and um and i found it and then I got a, a solution to change this one thing that was in my environment that was literally about to kill me. I had gotten to the point where instead of running 100 miles a week, or actually I was running four or five hour runs here and there in the mountains of San Diego and um, getting ready to run an ultra marathon. And instead of running like that, I was having a hard time walking the 10 minutes to Whole Foods and back. I was wobbly. My legs were getting skinny. Um, I felt like I was walking on little stilts, and and that's how it was going. And and um and I found this thing, and I shifted it, and then I wasn't dying anymore. I still had severe bone pain, and I couldn't run. And then I found a remedy. Thank God for my really good friend um, Ben in San Diego, who found this um, old time remedy from um, Australia. An old osteopath had it written up, and I used it. And three days later, I was back to running. And that inspired us to get the heck out of San Diego because of this thing that I had found and we wanted to get away from it. And so, so I'm gonna tell you all about it and, um, and implore you to look and make sure that this is not affecting you and your health. And I'll tell you all about it in just a minute. <clears throat> so, um, so what made Jen so mad yesterday was we found another source of it. She, Jen is always quizzing me, like, how is your running? How are you doing? Is this your symptoms from that thing that we had? And, um, and I'm like, no, I think this is good. You know, I, I tell her how I'm doing because she's on the lookout for this, um, this problem. And when she finds it, she changes stuff and then we're back to good and, and we know we're back to good because I'm running again and my bones feel good and I feel healthy. 
so I thought, you know, a few couple weeks ago or so, I um, I got tripped up by a dog with a an owner and and the leash and almost fell. You know, it was a little bit of a like ah, oh, but um, but then I was okay and I ran and I run, but and my my leg was a little tweaky for a while. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been telling her, yeah, I'm still getting over that dog incident thing, and um, but it wasn't that. And yesterday after my run, I'm like, oh my god, my bones really hurt over here. And she's, Jen said, is this fluoride? Is this your fluoride symptoms? And I'm like, oh my God, it is. And I checked in energetically. It's like, oh my God, it's fluoride again. And so we, Jen's really good at figuring out where we got fluoride. And I'm, I'm, I've just been sensitive to it ever since it affected me back in San Diego. Because San Diego in 2011 started putting fluoride in the water, supposedly to fix up people's teeth. That's the most ridiculous thing ever, if you think about it. Because if you've got a medical drug, medical thing, and you get a certain dose that um, that may be useful, and to tell you the truth, it's not if you look at the research. But even if it was useful at a certain dose, how can you control the dosage that goes into somebody by putting it in the water? Some people drink more water than other people. Little old ladies drink way less water than a little 15-year-old who exercises all the time and is on sports teams. So how can you control the dosage, especially for something fluoride that's actually more toxic, if you look it up, more toxic than arsenic. And it's not a nutrient. It's not an essential mineral. There's nothing useful about fluoride in your body. And yet they put it in the water supply. And so, so it really pisses Jen off. It pissed me off too. It still pisses me off that this is happening. And it's one of the things I want to get out of the world, water supply. There's no reason to have it in the water supply. If somebody wants to use fluoride, they can put it on their teeth, for God's sakes. Use it as a real medical thing, but not to put it in the water supply. Hitler used it to, to control the people. The, the, um, Stalin used it. And so I'm going to give you some links so that you can look for yourself. And if it's something that resonates with you and you're like, oh, my God, this is in my water and you want to get it out, I'll give you all the links um, below. It'll be in this Facebook Live comment section later and um, YouTube and um, the podcast. I'll put it everywhere that I post this because it's the one thing that after all this work of trying to get well, I found and I found filters that got it out of our water supply and I, got a, I found a spring in San Diego County that um, had really good water from Mount Laguna that um, came through the ground and was um, really good water. And, um, and that's what made it where I wasn't dying anymore. But I, it wasn't what fixed my, um, my running. I had to use a, a substance. And I'll, so I'll put some links in there of um, something that I used that three days later I was back to running. And so if you're dealing with um, bone pain, arthritis, um, skeletal pain, back pain, um, depression, kidney problems, liver problems, GI problems, if you're dealing with stuff, chronic illnesses, you might want to look at this. Because if you've been working on a lot of different things and it just isn't working, this could be the thing. Because when I, when I, San Diego put it, was one of the last cities to put it in the water supply. And they did it illegally. It was supposed to be a vote in San Diego. And then um, they just put it through, rammed it through the city council, even though they were supposed to let us all vote for it. And, um, but they were the, one of the last cities to put it in. And so I had years since 1985 of being in San Diego and working um, with clients, I had years of clients with no fluoride in their bodies, as far as like in their water supply. And then from 2011 till 2013, when we left San Diego, I had clients who now had fluoride in the water and I was starting to see the same conditions that I saw. It's like, oh my goodness, these people have fluoride poisoning, literally poisoned by fluoride because the, the officials, the city officials, the health officials are putting it in the water supply. Is that the most bizarre thing you've ever heard? So, so I'm going to leave you some links of um, a company, Promo Life, that I use for um, filters. There's only two ways that I know of to get fluoride out of the water supply, and most filters don't do it. And um, a link to this remedy. It's a base, It's kind of a... Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff in this article, but it's um, 
but you know you can filter through it and way down in there there's how to detox from fluoride so if you want to use it it's what i used and um use at your own discretion talk to your own healthcare practitioners see if it's useful um if it's not don't do it but if um but if it resonates with you you know let me know and um and let me know how it goes and and my hope is that um that we get fluoride out of the water supply in the world. There's no reason for it to be in the world, in the water supply. And I'll leave you a couple of documentaries, The Fluoride Deception and The Great Culling, C-U-L-L-I-N-G, which is actually the story of what happened in San Diego. Great documentaries with the scientists and um, the journalists who uh, researched this. And then you can make up your own mind if you want. And, and um, because my hope is to get it out of the water supply. And it's, this is what made Jen so pissed off because we've worked so hard to, um, to come up here and have clean well water and, and um, really look for what's useful for people's health. And I'm at the point now where, where it's like, okay, um, thank you, God, for leading me to this challenge. This is a, 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 a formidable opponent. This is a worthy opponent for us so that we can be the people that get the skills and the trainings and and um, shift our own inner stuff. We can be the people that can rise to the occasion and then solve this problem in the world. It's affecting so many people. So that's how I look at it now. Like, how can I change myself and be the person that has the training and the skills to solve it for myself and my clients and also to get fluoride out of the water supply So that's today's session. It's one that I'm passionate about, obviously, because this literally almost killed me. The benefit is it got me up here to the Pacific Northwest where I love living and love running on trails. I had a beautiful run on the trails yesterday. So there's been a lot of benefit, but this literally almost killed me. And if you're dealing with conditions, you might wanna look into this and I'll leave you a bunch of links. All right, everybody. So kind of a crazy, wild Facebook Live, YouTube, and podcast. But, um, but go ahead and click subscribe if you like this. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about it, especially if you actually um, read through the, the material I'll leave and the, um, the videos and watch the documentaries. And, um, and let's get fluoride out of the water, huh? All right. See you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. All right, bye now.